Hi, Fisher folks, Rich here again. So, um, heading out tonight, we uh, basically got blown out by the weather yesterday. We were going to do an all nighter on angle seat, but rain put pay to that. Not much fun standing on rocks or getting off rocks or keeping your balance on rocks when it's pouring down. And then had a bit of a backup plan to fish locally, uh, which was looking good till about 8 o'clock. And then uh, the weather forecast said complete downpour all night, so uh, we scrapped that idea as well. So tonight's looking okay, um, looking dry. Got some sort of light southerly, southeasterly winds blowing tonight, and so I'm going to head out with Brian. We're going to start at 3 a.m., so not much sleep there tonight, and um, we're going to be fishing down at Perch Rock. Um, we were on big tides, so it seemed a good venue to pick. This seems to fish better on those bigger tides. And a plan for myself tonight is to actually stick one rod out on a ray bait. And then I didn't waste my time last night. I actually tied up some fairly heavy duty rigs with some 8 0 hooks uh, for conger and huss. So I'm going to actually bang out a really big chunk of mackerel and just leave it sat there, assuming the crabs don't decide to have a bit of a middle of the night feast on it and uh, see if we can pick anything up on that so uh, hopefully we might have something unusual to show you for the camera but you never know so um, I better get my stuff sorted out still got a long way to go till we get out but you know how it is so um, I will catch you later on so see you in a bit Two thirty three AM the perfect time for a spot of fishing. Okay, so uh, first bait to go out is this big bait, hopefully for a conger or hot. So this is just a slightly modified tape pulley rig with a length of hard on, uh, on the bottom. So the motto for this morning, almost said this evening, is uh, go big or go home. So uh, get this one out and uh, then get ray bait ready. Okay, so uh, just put ray bait out. So that's uh, two small launts and a whole ammo sand eel wrapped around on a panel rig. Put a um, sea glow bead on today as well. Uh, don't usually use them on the Mersey because the water's so coloured, but uh, you never know, you never know. So, um, yeah, pulling hard through at the minute. It's still got quite a long way to drop down on the tide at the minute. Not really sure what the weed or crab situation is doing, but uh, we'll uh, have a re recast about 20 minutes or so and see where we are. So, first fish of the night out, but we'll uh, pull them back. Got some uh, squid and sand eel. Uh, little male. Crabs aren't too bad today, but weed's more of a problem. The sense of colour my big bait out of position, so I uh, might have to recast that in a minute. And it's uh, starting to get light behind me now, so um, hopefully we should uh, get a few more. Still got plenty of time, so all good.
Okay folks, quick update. Uh, lovely dawn, um, but the weed is absolutely shocking. Just really struggling keeping anything in position whatsoever. Um, not much being washed up on the beach. That's because it's all in the water. And uh, as soon as you cast out, it's just picking up the line, dragging the leads right round and uh, <laughs> almost unfishable actually. So, uh, but, Nice morning, so can't complain. So uh, we'll keep battering away with it. Well, the tide's on the flood now, so we won't get long because we're really on a very big tide at the minute. So we've had three rays apiece. Might winkle out one more before the uh, have to bit of retreat back to the car. But yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, main problem was just a lot of big chunks of weed just pulling everything out of position. Um, as soon as that quieted off and we got down to around slack water started picking up fish so uh, yeah another enjoyable session at Costa del Perch Rock so uh, if I don't get another one thanks for watching and I'll see you soon fisher folks bye for now